Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to winterize your images. Um, with this action that I made, it makes it so quick and efficient that it's just going to blow your mind. So this is where we started, and this is where we finished. And I also added one of my snow overlays that I'm super excited about. Okay, so again, before and after. I'm going to just go ahead and put that in the trash. And you're going to come down to the Storyville Winterize Action. Make sure it's highlighted and hit the play button. And it's going to walk you through a few steps that you need to take um, to make this action run efficiently and smoothly. Um, start at the bottom. You're going to take a soft white brush at 100% opacity but 15% flow. Having a lower flow allows you to gradually paint on this group instead of it all being glumped on at once and it makes it look more realistic. So I'm just going to start at the top and work my way over. As you see, it comes on really light at first, and that's how I like um, to paint on this base layer. On the bottom. Now what's great about this too is if you get it on your subject, you can leave it or you can take it off. I will probably go back over them and paint some of it off because I don't want them to be washed out too much. And if you're doing this for a client or going to print them, um, I would get really close to your subject. Make sure you mask it off really nicely if you're choosing to. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go over it really quick and then to mask it off of their face, I'm going to do a black brush at 100% flow and opacity. And just wipe it off the skin and the hat there. And that looks good to me. So before and after, the next thing I'm going to do is come over to this base tone action and I'm going to brighten the snow. Again, I'm going to go back to a 15% flow with a white brush and just gradually paint it on the bottom here and maybe a little along the top, but I'm not going to get too crazy with it. And that just helps lighten the snow up a little bit more. Come along this green edge. And as you see, we're just creating layers of depth with this snow, um, just to make it look a little bit more frosted. Uh, you have some other options um, in this action. Let me try and open this up a little bit so you can read it. Uh, a bring back the color option. If you want the color to pop a little, you would take a soft white brush and brush some of that on. Or if you wanted to tone some of the color down, you would take a soft white brush and paint that along here. I'm okay with what we have. Um, I like the tones already. I am going to add a little contrast to the bottom here. So I'm actually going to turn the flow all the way up and soft white brush, paint it along the bottom here, maybe a little here, bring back some of the darkness. Okay, so that's the before and after there. It's coming along nicely. Now we are going to go into the winter tones. I'm going to turn the eyeball on here. and. Here I have some of my favorite winter tones that I like to use in my images. For this one, I'm going to keep it at the Winter Tone 5, um, and a 53% opacity looks good to me. You can crank it all the way down, all the way up. It's really just a personal preference. So I'm going to go back to the 53, 54, and I'm going to take a soft black brush at 100% opacity and wipe it off my subjects. I do not want it on them. Again, if you're going to print or do this for a client, take your time. Um, really get in there. That looks okay to me. You can also, if you wanted to um, turn on multiple of these tones at once, uh, you can just create more depth that way. And then if you, since I already have a mask there, all you have to do is hold down the Alt and drag it and then you can replace the layer mask, as you can see there. But 
for here. I'm just going to use the one uh, winter tone. Next, we're going to go into the vignette, and I'm going to do the frost vignette one. Uh, make sure you double click on the vignette and make sure the darker spot is over your subject. That looks good to me there. I'm going to turn this down a little bit, a little bit too green for my liking. That looks good. I'm going to make sure that it's brushed off my subject. So soft black brush, 100% opacity. I'm just going to clean them up in case any of that ran over onto them. Very subtle, but I really like the difference there. And we're going to come over to Frosty Bottom, click on the eye, and for here, again, you can choose different um, tones that you like. And for this one, I'm going to turn on Frosty Bottom 4 and turn it down to about 43%, 44%. That looks good to me. Soft white brush, brush it off of them, and a little bit back here. Bring some of that pretty green back before and after. Okay, moving on, we're going to go on to the frosty top. And for here, I am going to use the frosty top too. And I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Um, I like to go all the way over to 0% opacity on some of these and then just kind of turn it up to where my eye likes it. And I think about 14% looked good. Wipe it off my subjects. And again, with any of these, you can do multiple layers. Um, just click the Alt and drag um, your same mask so you don't have to keep repeating it. Okay, and so the last thing we're going to do, well, I take that back. The second to the last thing we're going to do is go into the winter final touch. And you have a couple options here. You can do the mild touch or the heavy touch. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to do the mild and turn it up to where my eye likes it. And as you can see, it just kind of smooths things out a little bit. And I am going to wipe that off my subjects as well. 100% opacity with a black brush. And the last thing we're going to do is grab one of the Storyville snow overlays. For this, I grabbed the number three. And to select it, just hit Command A, and then to copy it, Command C, and to paste it, Command V. And then you're going to set it to screen mode. And there we have it. If you want, you can certainly add a mask onto it and wipe it off wherever you don't want. Um, for here, I think it looks great. I don't need to make any changes to that. Uh, let me group this together for you guys. So this is where we ended, and here's where we started. So after, before. What a difference, right guys? So you can find this action and my snow overlays at storyvillephotography.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.